Hey and welcome and in today's video we are going to be looking at content controls okay so um, this is just a plain or a document you can see I've got nothing on the screen at the moment so with content controls we want to actually put something in um, that is going to help us create an electronic form so we want someone to be able to fill out this form um, with just a few clicks not having to really type anything out, save it and send it back to us. But when I look at my ribbon on top here, I don't really see anything that gives me the options I want, okay, or options I need. So if you don't see what you're looking for, because we're actually looking for what's known as the developer tab. I'm going to go to file. I'm going to go down to options and I'm going to go down to customize ribbon then on the right hand side i've got to look for developer aha there we go put a tick in developer and i'm going to click ok so now immediately i've got my normal tabs plus developer okay so what do you see that comes up in the middle there there i've got content controls and there i've got a number of them over there so in the first place this is just how we actually put this into the document or into word um, to make sure that we have access to what we need now um, according to the exam paper you will be asked to insert different things we're just going to look at one or two items um, and let me see which one we're going to go with so first of all when you look at the top two you'll see there this one says rich text content control and the other one plain text content control so the difference between rich text and plain text is this if i put my name in here um, and I'm just going to zoom in here quickly. This is both of these names as it is. That's plain text. Okay. The minute I make this bold and I underline it and I make it bigger and I change the font type, all these things, this becomes rich text because it now has formatting um, that has been done to it. Okay. Now, let me just go down here. If I click on this, you can see it allows me to click on and I can enter whatever text I want to okay if we want the person to for example um, let's say we want them to type in their name then wherever your cursor is we can actually click there and say the person must type in their name if we want to add format into that we click on the little um, dots over there and we go up to properties and we can actually then tick on that style and say what sort of you know formatting we want we can say listen i want this font i want that size i want it to be bold i want the color to be something like that okay i'm, I'm just using a few <laughs> items here and we can click ok now when i type in my name into that box that is how it is formatted okay i hope you're with me All right let's look at let's look at another one um let's go with gender for example and this time i'm going to go with a drop down box and you can see it gives me the options of choosing an item but there's nothing else besides that so again i click on those dots i go up to properties and now i can actually put in besides my style um, i can say what i want in there so i'm going to add uh mail my value i can just leave as one so that's the first one i want there i can add um, female just as an example and you can see over here I can modify it I can remove something um, I can move this up and down and I'm gonna click OK so when the person comes to gender all they're gonna do is they're gonna click on there and there's the options that they have male and female and they'll click on male and that's how it will display okay so these are just a few of our of our content controls you can see we can put in one um, to add in a picture um, we can put in another one as a checkbox where um, you know the person might be asking a question to say listen um, have you have you got a cell phone for instance and you would have maybe yes let me actually just delete that um, maybe you want yes and no all right, so I can put my checkbox in there. I can put another one in there. And the person gets to a question and then they can just click in, you know, to say either yes or no. All right, 
But that's just um, the first look at content controls.